You raised incredibly successful children. You have three children. Um, can you tell me what you did when you were raising them that made them the way that they are today? Well, I think it's similar to my parents. You know, they were working all the time. I only saw them at six o'clock clock in the evening for dinner and they just made us independent. We started working for them when they were when we were young. And in the same way my children were helping me and they were very aware that I had my practice at home and they need to uh, be uh, well behaved and do their own homework because I didn't have time to work with them. And they were they were really good kids. I was very lucky. And you let them follow their own passions. They followed their own passions and they all went in different directions. And what is so magical about the age 12? Well, you don't know it's a magic age until you tell your stories and then you say, oh, actually by 12 we already knew what they were going to do. And then, they, as I said, they went in different directions. When, when we moved to Toronto, my funds were blocked. So I didn't, uh, I was a research officer at the University of Toronto. So they could have come there for free if they studied uh, or very little if they studied uh, medicine or law. But Elon and Kimball wanted to study business and then Elon went on to study physics as well. Tosca wanted to study film. So they, they had to get their own scholarships, they had to get their own loans and they had to support themselves and they did it. And looking back at the way you raised your children, what is the best gift you think you gave them? Well, I think I was strict and they tell me I was a pushover. So, <laughs> so there you go. Yeah, I think being polite and considerate of others and doing good for others. I think they saw that as a dietitian, they saw me doing that. And they all do good things for others. And at 69, you became the oldest cover girl in history. How did they get you to do that campaign? What was that process like? Well, first of all, I was Instagram. So Instagram got me IMG Models, which they said they, uh, there's a beauty uh, company that's interested in me. And I thought, oh, yeah, you know, you hear these things. <laughs> and then they said, oh, we're going to be meeting with cover girl. I said, OK. And I go there and I see all my Instagram photos up on the, up on the mood board. And I'm saying, hmm. That's, that's uh, interesting. And then they're talking as if I was the cover girl already. And then afterwards I leave with my agent and I said, am I a cover girl or not? She said, yes, the contract, we've got the contract, we're working on it. And I said, oh, until I sign that contract, I'm not saying anything. And, and it, well, I wasn't allowed to say anything. And then when that contract came, it was just fantastic. I just thought, wow, it's like every model's dream to be the face of a makeup brand. And now, I've, now I am. And the commercial, I still remember seeing it for the first time. It talks about age head on and it's very moving. Um, what was that process like? And what did you think about the campaign when you were shooting it? Well, I thought they made me look fabulous. They really did. And then they wanted me dancing on a rooftop and they wanted me walking in the street. They, they had a lot of ideas and, and um, yeah, I'm willing to do it all, yes. And I was treated like a, a, a big star because I had my own trailer, a large trailer, and I had a, a double who was there for the lighting and I'd never had that before. So this, this was all new to me and uh, very exciting to be looked after so nicely. And where do you think we could still need more age diversity in media? Oh, we need age diversity everywhere, you know, because, you know, as men get older, they, they are still in the media, still everywhere, and uh, women are are neglected and they you know they have they don't want to book them anymore and my saying is that 50 percent of ceos should be women 50 percent of presidents should be women because we'll we'll have a kinder gentler world and also uh, so women should support women to get to that position but men should support women too we're not competition to men we just think the best person should be able to get the job